Greetings, thoroughfurs. I want to thank you for your willingness to serve at Mass as a thoroughfur. Every time uh, we use incense, uh, we remind the people that what is happening here around the Lord's altar is deeply sacred. Incense has been used by almost all of the major religions uh, because it symbolizes the sacredness of what we do in prayer. Um, for us, our Jewish brothers and sisters used incense inside the temple uh, and they would light it around the uh, Holy of Holies. They would uh, offer incense to remember that our prayer goes up to God like incense. So when you uh, put the incense in here and the smoke rises up, um, it is like our prayers going up into heaven. In fact, the Bible even says that in Psalm uh, 141 verse 2, let my prayer be like incense. And so here at St. Thomas More, we'll be using the incense um, mostly at the masses that are like really important, like Christmas and Easter and other holy days of obligation besides uh, the ordinary times of Sunday. So that's why we'll be using incense. My hope and prayer is that um, the people will see you uh, and your service and that you will help make the mass a more sacred and prayerful experience for everybody. Uh, and that the incense reminds us that Jesus Christ is truly here at the altar and that he is truly the holiest of holies uh, and that the incense reminds us that we are in sacred space. So thanks so much for your service. Incense is used at Mass six different times. The entrance procession, beginning of Mass, proclamation of Gospels, the offertory, Eucharistic prayer, and recession procession. Before we get started, there are some terminology that I'll be using throughout the course of this training. So the item on the far left, that is the thurible, a metal sensor on a chain for burning incense. The sensor, which is located in the thurible, is a metal container in which incense is burned. And the small item on the bottom right is called the boat, a small container with a spoon that holds the unburned incense. The altar server who's mainly handling the thurible is known as a thurifer. And if there's an additional second altar server, they are the boat bearer that holds the boat. Before Mass, altar servers are to arrive 20 minutes before. Second, make sure the cross, candle, and the thurible stands are all placed behind the back wall by the credence table. Third, there should be an extra charcoal and lighter on the credence table. And fourth, sacristan will put the thurible at the sink ready for the thurifer to put in the charcoal. It is the thurifer's duty to prepare the thurible for Mass. The thurible will be placed by the sink. The thurifer uses tongs to get the charcoal and place it in the thurible basket. He or she then uses a butane lighter to light up the charcoal along the edges and center until the edges of the charcoal becomes white. Then add incense in the boat up to the line. To hold the thurible, insert the ring into your thumb and grasp the chain with your dominant hand. With your arm in an L-shaped position, slightly position the thurible away from your body. You don't want to swing the hot thurible to hit the L. And swing the thurible slightly with your wrist. The thurible should be swinging slightly when you stand still or when you walk. Hold the boat with your non-dominant hand and place it over your heart. The thurible can also be swung at a person or an object for when you incense a priest, 
the congregation, or the altar. To do this, hold the chain with your non-dominant hand and insert your thumb into the ring. Then, with your dominant hand, pick up the chain towards the end, giving the chain enough slack to form a U-shape. This allows the thurible to hit the chain when you swing to achieve the clink clink sound when you swing. Your non-dominant hand with the thumb in the ring is held close to your heart. When you swing two times to the center, to the left, and to the right. When Mass is ready to start, the liturgical team gather in the sacristy for a prayer before heading out. Thank you, dear Lord, for our time together. Thank you for our Mass. Thank you for the Eucharist. Thank you for these beautiful servers. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The thurifer leads the procession to the back of the church. He or she is followed by the cross, candles, lectors, and priests. When the priest gives a sign to the choir to start the music, hand him the boat. Lift up the thurible lid for him to add incense. The priest blesses the censer and closes the lid, and hand the boat back to the therapeur. The therapeur leads the procession, gently swinging the therapeur with the dominant hand, with the other left hand holding the boat over the chest, followed by the order of the cross, candles, lectors, deacon, and priests. At the sanctuary step, the thurifer turns left and stands to the left choir side. Note, the candles are not placed on the sanctuary by the altar in high mass. All bow together. Notice how servers go in separate directions. The cross and candle altar server processes to the right side to place the cross and candles behind a wall. After the bow, the thurifer allows the priest up the sanctuary and stand on the choir side of the altar ready to hand the thurible to the priest. The priest will reach for the thurible and proceeds to incense the altar and the statue of Mary. Notice how the thurifer and deacon always turn to focus their attention to the items being incensed and bow when the priest bows. After the priest incenses the altar, he hands the thurible back and the thurifer uses the ramp to bring back the thurible and boat to its stands in the back wall behind the credence table and take a seat. As the lector stands up to read the second reading right after the responsorial of Psalms, Thurfer and candle bearers also get up, go behind the back wall to prepare the thurible. During the second reading, the thurfer checks the charcoal to make sure it's still lit and adds more charcoal if necessary. All altar servers stand ready behind the wall until the end of the second reading when they hear the lector reads the word of the Lord, and the congregation responds, Thanks be to God. At this time, the thurfer, followed by the candle bearers, processed together to the front of the altar and go up the sanctuary steps. The candle bearers stand in front to the left and to the right side of the altar facing the cross. The thurifer walks towards the front of the priest if the priest remains sitting, genuflect and hand the priest a bolt and open the censer lid for the priest to add incense to the censer. Close the censer lid and receive the bolt back from the priest. Stand up holding the thurible and swinging gently as the priest or deacon walks to the front of the altar to pick up the gospel. 
candle bearers turns towards the gospel facing each other as a priest or deacon presents the book. When the priest or deacon turns towards the anvil, the candle bearers lead the priest or deacon to the anvil and stand to the left and to the right side of the anvil facing the gospel. Try not to block the visual field of the priest or deacon proclaiming the gospel. Before proclaiming the gospel, the priest or deacon turns around, the therefore hands the thurible. The priest or deacon incenses the gospel and hands the thurible back to the therefore. Therefore remain standing behind the priest or deacon and swing the thurible gently during the proclamation of the gospel. At the end of the gospel proclamation, before the homily, therefore and candle bearers return the thurible and candles to stand at the back wall and take their seats. After the prayer of the faithful, the altar servers set up the altar and receive the offertory. The thurifer adds new charcoal to the censer and walks up the sanctuary steps with a thurible and boat. When the altar servers with the water and wine cruets walk down, the thurifer walks up and stands on the side of the altar. Hand the boat to the priest and open the censer lid for the priest to add incense to the censer. The priest incenses the cross, the gifts, and the altar. The therefer gives attention to the cross and altar as a priest incenses them. Again, notice that the therefer always turns their attention to the items being incensed and bows with the priest after incensing. After the priest incenses the altar and the cross, he needs to be incensed too. He can either give the thurible to the thurifer or to the deacon if one is present. For the thurifer, place the boat on the brown wooden flower stand. Left hand holds a chain by the ring and place the hand close to the chest. Right hand holds the chain 5 inches from the center. Three sets of two swings, center towards the priest, left side of the priest and right side of the priest. Afterwards, bow to the priest. The therefore then walks towards the front of the altar and raises both hands up to invite the congregation to stand. Notice that while the therefore is incensing the congregation, the other altar servers proceed with the hand washing for the priest. Bow, then do three sets of two swings, incensing the center section, left section, and right section, then bow again. If there is a deacon, the priest will be incensed by the deacon. The therefore just stands and waits for the deacon to finish and takes the thurible back. Once the therifer receives back the therible, they walk to the credence table and stand. At this time, another server will join the therifer at the credence table to hold the boat. At the Sanctus, Holy, 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 Lord of Hosts, Hosanna in the Highest, the therifer and boat bearer walk to the front steps of the altar and kneels on the first step directly in front of the cross. The boat bearer kneels to the therifer's right side. Please pay special attention to this important step, as it corresponds with the bell ringing. When the priest's hands come together over the gifts at the epiclesis, first ringing of the bells, therifer opens a censer lid, and the boat bearer scoops two spoons of incense into the censer and closes the lid. At the elevation of the host, the therifer swings the therible two swings in the center, two swings on the left, and two swings on the right side, corresponding to the three ringing of the bells. At the elevation of the precious blood, the therifer swings the therible two swings in the center, two swings on the left side, and two swings on the right side, corresponding to the three ringing of the bells. Continue kneeling until the end of the Eucharist prayer. At the great Amen, the therefore and boat bear stand, walk to the back wall behind the credence table.
and put the thermal and bolt on the stand and return to your seats. When the priest gives the final blessing, Therefore puts two spoons of incense in the censer. The Therefer then leads the crossbearer and candles to the front of the altar to line up with the priests. bow and the recession is in the same order. Therefore, boat bearer, cross bearer, candle bearers, deacon and priest. The procession stops at the back of the church, so all can bow to the cross before heading to the sacristy. After Mass, bring the thurible and boat back to the sacristy. Place the thurible inside the sink on the right side and the boat on the counter. The sacristan will let it burn out and empty it. If you have any questions or need some more clarification, please contact the altar server coordinator or the priest.